So now I want to teach you about another concept that you're going to need uh, to be able to build your own agents. You know, the idea behind this course is to teach you how to build your own agents, create your own workflows, um, and, and not be confined to the off-the-shelf workflows and the off-the-shelf tools or the pre-built-in ones. So um, we're going to learn how to build a custom tool. It's going to be a very simple tool. What we're going to do here is I want to create a tool and we're going to have to modify the workflow of the graph a little bit here. Um, I want to create a tool that actually is going to publish the article. And so the editor, remember beforehand, the editor had the choice of either sending the article back to the writer with some feedback or it had the choice of just ending. But we're going to modify that a little bit and we're going to um, create a publisher node. So a publisher node, so it's going to be P. And then this node is going to have, it's going to be able to publish the article. So the publisher node needs access. We're going to give it access to a tool. And so the tool is going to be called uh, a publish tool. And now very similar to how the searcher calls a tool, what's going to happen is this is going to be called the publish tool. Yeah, so what's going to happen is, is that whenever the publisher receives the article from the editor, it's going to convert the article into JSON format and then uh, to create a payload and then it's going to, uh, you know, just return it. It's not going to actually publish it. We're not actually publishing anything here. Uh, but if you had this in your news, uh, your news system, it would, you know, take that JSON payload and then probably publish it to an API or something like that. And so it's going to use a tool to do that. And that tool is going to be custom defined by us. And remember, the tool always sends its results back. And then, so what's going to happen is the publisher is going to get the article, pass the information off to the publish tool to create the JSON payload. That JSON payload is going to be sent back to the publisher, and the publisher is just going to end. And so the idea here is just to show you how to create this custom tool. And the tool is just a, a publish tool. It's going to, you know, it, it's going to create the JSON payload, but in your case, what it would actually probably do uh, in a production case is send that payload to an API. And so let's go over here and actually create that. So I'm not going to rewrite all this code because it's quite a lot to do in one video, but essentially we need to import from langchaincore.tools this tool right here. And we're going to, what you do to create a custom tool, you literally just create a function. That's all you do. And then you decorate it with the tool decorator. And that tells Langgraph and, and Langchain, that's how it works in Langchain. It tells Langgraph in our case that this is a tool and it can be used uh, by these nodes. And so this function is a simple publish article function. It's going to take in a title, a body, the references in the article, and then it's going to create this payload here which is just a timestamp, a title, a body, and then the references. It's just the article in uh, as a Python dictionary or JSON format. So there you go. Now, that's our tool. So we, we just added this. What we need to do is we need to add the publisher node. And so the publisher node is going to be a model, and, and it's going to have access to the publish article tool. And we're going to make it we're going to give it some instructions to say your job is to use the publish article tool to publish the final draft of the article outputted by the writer and then what we're going to do is we're going to create that agent we're going to add the publish article tool up here as a tool node so remember with Tavili we added it as a tool node now what we're going to do is we're going to add our publish tool as a node as well it's a tool node. And we just do that by passing in the tool as a list, a tool node, and then we're going to create that publish tool node. Now we have to modify our edges. Remember, we, we took this, this edge for the editor, this final conditional edge, pointed to end here, but now it points to publisher. And so in this should edit routing function, which creates those conditional edges for the editor, um, the editor, if it says done, it's not going to be passed to end. It's going to be passed to publisher with a publisher node, um, else it's going to be sent back to the writer. And then for we have these, to create the conditional edges here, 
this one and this one for the publisher node, we're going to have the publisher return two values. Publish tool, which is a call to the tool node to create the JSON payload to publish the article, or end, and that just ends the process, the agent workflow. And so that's what we do. If if for, if the after the pub, if the publisher node makes a tool call, we're going to return publish tool. Else, we're going to uh, end the agent workflow. Now we do need to modify the graph, and I want to point out what we exactly modified. So. Here in our nodes, right, we have two new nodes. We have the publisher node right here. And then, so that's that one. And then we have this publish tool node, which is this publish tool, the tool node here. And so we've added those two nodes to our graph. This is the same. This is the same, this is the same, this is the same. We added the new, we changed up should edit so this conditional edge, this part is the same. Uh, but now we need to add the conditional edges for the publisher using the should publish routing function. And so now we've constructed these two edges. And then now we need to add the edge from publish tool, the tool node back to the publisher, which is this edge right there. And so we're still using a check pointer. We're still interrupting before the editor because we're keeping the human in the loop uh, feature that we added to our agent workflow. So let's display our graph to see if it looks like how we drew it up in our diagram. And so this does look like it. I mean, they put the published tool on the left side, <laughs> um, but that's that's the same thing. And so this looks good. This is exactly what we want. We have two conditional edges here and then one non or unconditional edge coming back from the tool node and uh, editor points to publisher um, instead of end. And so that's good. So let's test it out. And so I'm gonna test it on the same generating article about Tesla and Elon Musk. You'll see that it stops whenever the writer generates the article. So let's go up here. Searcher says I found all these articles, passes that to the outliner. The outliner generates the outline with the sources. Writer writes the article. And I'm not gonna give any feedback here um, and the, you know this looks this, this looks good, but I'm not going to give any feedback because that's not what I'm showing you in this video. So I'm just going to input done as the node editor, and then we're going to stream what happens after that. So remember the editor said done, so now we're moving into the publisher node, passing the state off to the publisher node. The publisher node makes a tool call, passing in title and body and references to the publish tool node. And the publish tool node returns back, you know, the, the JSON body, the timestamp, the title, the body, and the references as a Python dictionary. And then the final AI message, which was the message that the publish tool node uh, wrote to the state after it received that JSON payload back and ended the process was this right here. And it was the JSON payload from um, with, with all the references, the body, the title, and the timestamp. And so we're going to access this one, and it looks just like that. And so this is ideally what your news article would look like before you posted it um, to, to your API and published it to your site. And But more importantly, this is how you create a custom tool. It's actually very straightforward. You make it a tool node, um, or you know what you could have done is, is we, we could have just taken this tool that we wrote, this published article tool, and added it to the tools node and had publisher point to the tools node as well. Um, that that could happen. I mean, that's that's one way to do it. I just did it that way to make sure it's separated. That there's no way that the publisher is going to use any other tool besides the publish article tool. And um, yeah, all you need to do is just create a function. You know, make sure you import tool, decorate the tool right here, and then whatever it returns is the return of that tool. And then make sure you add it as a tool node. And obviously, make sure that your node that uses that tool points to that tool by adding your uh, conditional edges or, or your edge uh, to, um, to make that happen. So that's how you create custom tools in Langgraph.